The division of Cebu Province is headed by the school's division superintendent, Dr. Ria Mar A. Angtud, assisted by the three assistant schools division superintendents, Dr. Esther A. Putalan, Dr. Cartesa M. Perico, and Dr. Lea B. Apao. Cebu Province's coverage focuses on the seven congressional districts comprising the 44 municipalities and 57 schools districts divided into three clusters. It all started with a dream to build a nation and a community of learners filled with useful and well-rounded individuals. With the present challenges that our division is currently facing, we need a solution, and thus, I see Cebu model is developed. The low MPS on certain learning competencies, as reflected in the results of the National Achievement Test, paved the way to the birth of the IC Cebu curriculum innovation, which revolves around the multidisciplinary, interdisciplinary, and transdisciplinary approaches to integration with emphasis on gender and development principles and disaster risk reduction education concepts. IC Cebu, Integrated Curriculum for Cebuano Learners to engage for better understanding. The God-based integrated curriculum for Cebuano learners with the use of IC Cebu model has been anchored on the following issuances. Republic Act No. 10533, Enhanced Basic Education Act of 2013, an act enhancing the Philippine basic education system by strengthening its curriculum and increasing number of years for basic education, appropriating funds therefore and for other purposes. DepEd Order No. 42 Series of 2017 National Adoption and Implementation of the Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers DepEd Order No. 42 Series of 2016 Policy Guidelines on Daily Lesson Preparation for the K-12 Basic Education Program DepEd Order No. 35 Series of 2016 the Learning Action Cell as a K-12 basic education program, school-based continuing professional development strategy for the improvement of teaching and learning. DepEd Order No. 8, Series of 2015, Policy Guidelines on Classroom Assessment for the K-12 basic education program. DepEd Order No. 2, Series of 2015, Guidelines on the Establishment and Implementation of the Results-Based Performance Management System, or RPMS, in the Department of Education. DepEd Order No. 31, Series of 2012, Policy Guidelines on the Implementation of Grades 1 to 10 of the K-12 Basic Education Curriculum. And DepEd Order No. 32 Series of 2017, Gender Responsive Basic Education Policy. The conceptualization of the project was made through the collaboration and exchange of comprehensive ideas and thorough decision-making of Dr. Riamar A. Angtud and Dr. Leia B. Apao. God-based IC Cebu model recognizes the principles of gender equality, gender equity, gender sensitivity, non-discrimination, and human rights to be integrated within and across disciplines in all the lessons of kindergarten, elementary, junior high school and senior high school levels.
The IC Cebu model is developed as a means to scaffold the teaching learning process, integrating competencies within and across disciplines to allow holistic learning experiences, maximizing the learner's potentials while developing their 21st century skills. It provides higher order thinking and processing to engage deep understanding of content and concepts. The empowered 21st century Cebuano learners are the central focus of the IC Cebu model with three dimensions, namely overarching concepts, advanced content, and process product, multidisciplinary, interdisciplinary, and transdisciplinary approaches to integration are used in the pedagogical teaching learning processes of the eight learning areas such as Araling Panlipunan, English, Edukasyon sa Pagpakatao, Filipino, Music, Arts, Physical Education and Health, Mathematics, Science, Edukasyong Pantahanan at Pangkabuhayan, Technology and Livelihood Education using the five E's, Engage, Explore, Explain, Elaborate, Evaluate, to realize learning beyond borders. Engage. Hey children, let's play a game. This is the mechanics of our game. I am going to show you a picture of Cebu. Tell me what place in Cebu is shown in the picture. In 10 seconds, you're going to raise your show me boards First point, the group with the most number of correct answers wins the game. Are you ready? Yes. yes. What place is shown in this picture? This phase of five keys starts the process, alluring the teachers to provide situations or open-ended thinking activities that will arouse the learners' interests and differentiated activities that will lead them to explicitly and implicitly engage in the teaching learning process. The correct answer is Oslo, Cebu. Group number one got the correct answer. Good job, group number one. Explore. Okay, children, this time, let us get to know more about the places that we have in our game. This time, I will be giving you activity cards. That's for group one, group two, group three, and group four. Inside your envelopes, we have you have activity cards. You read the activity cards and answer the questions found on the table. Okay? We are given 15 minutes to do the activity. Let's start. This phase provides students with a common base of experiences. They identify and develop concepts, processes, and skills. Learners actively explore their environment or manipulate materials. Okay, children, time is up. Your reporter will now publish your work and report your group's answer. Shall we do it now? Group 1, Group 2, Group 3, and Group 4. Publish your work here on the board, and the reporter shall now report your answers. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, classmates. This is the work of group two. The place where there is that we got is Kawasan Falls, Bajan. The distance of town proper is 9.1 km from town proper. The land area of Kawasan Falls is not mentioned in our card. The average temperature of Kawasan Falls, near Kawasan Falls, Bajan is 27.5 Celsius degrees Celsius. Average number of tourists per day is 1,300 tourists. 
Let's give a big round of applause to our reporters from Group 2. Group 2, read number 1. The distance of Cebu Safari is 6.2 kilometers from Carmen Town proper. Now, anybody from Group 4 can tell me what's the distance of Cebu Safari to Carmen Town proper? Yes, James. The distance of Cebu Safari is 6.2 kilometers from Carmen Town proper. Very good, James. Now, children. What do we call to this group of words? Yes, Niboy. These group of words are called sentences. Very good, Niboy. How about a big round of applause? Explain. Okay, now this time, children, let me check if we can still construct clear and coherent sentences. Let's move on to our next activity. In your envelopes, you have there band papers. You are going to help each other in constructing clear and coherent sentences by answering my question. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Okay, you are going to answer my question in complete sentences. This part helps students explain the concepts they have been exploring. They have opportunities to verbalize their conceptual understanding or to demonstrate new skills or behavior. Elaborate. This extends students' conceptual understanding and allows them to practice skills and behavior. Through new experiences, the learners develop deeper and broader understanding of major concepts, obtain more information about areas of interest, and refine their skills. Joanne, post your work here, please, on the board. Your answer? We found the activity quite easy and fun. On your uh, sentence, where is the subject? We. We, very good. Is Ruben correct? Yes. Good. Where is the predicate or the verb? Found. Found, very good. Is Ruben correct? Yes. yes, sir. Okay, second question. Of all places given, which one is the most visited tourist destination? Cebu Safari Carmen is the most visited place. place. What is the correct answer, uh, Rowan? Cebu Safari is the most visited place. Is Rowan correct? Yes. Okay, please correct your answer, Rowan. Make it correct. Can we borrow a marker? No. Yes. Make corrections to when and your answer. Okay. Why should we use place instead of places? When? We're only talking about one place and that is? Very good, Ruben. How about a big round of applause for Ruben? The sentence one for group number four. The subject here is we. we. The predicate or the verb is found. found. Now, does the sentence show clarity or is it clear and is it coherent? Yes. 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 Does the subject and the predicate agree with each other? Yes. yes. Okay, good job. Evaluate. This time, children, I want to find out if you really learned our lesson this morning. So, to evaluate our learning, I will be asking each one of you to write five clear and coherent sentences with appropriate grammar structure using the data of the tourist destinations in our country this time. Okay? I'll be giving each group an uh, information sheet of a tourist spot in the Philippines while each one of you is going to write five clear and coherent sentences about the tourist spot. Shall we get our pens and paper ready? Get your pens and your paper. This is for you, group. One. This phase encourages learners to assess their understanding and abilities 
and allow teachers to evaluate students' understanding of the key concepts and skill development. Carefully put a check on the space if the sentence is clear and coherent with correct or appropriate grammar structure. While we put X if it is not. Okay, number one, Cebu was a province of the Philippines. Is this a correct answer? Brando? No, it's not. Why, Brando? What makes this sentence wrong, Brando? Because of the was. Okay, very good. Why is was wrong? What should we use then? Is. Very good. How about the big round of applause for Brando? Why do we use is? For the simple present aspect of the verb. Why do we use that? Because the only subject is simple. Okay, good. And? Is that a true statement? Yes. Yes. That makes it the correct answer. Cebu City retained landmarks from 16th century. Yes, Nimoy. Is that correct? No. Why not? It should be where that? Yes. Very good. disciplinary approach to integration. In this approach, teachers have to organize curriculum around student questions and concerns. Students develop life skills as they apply interdisciplinary and disciplinary skills in real-life context. There are two routes that lead to transdisciplinary integration, the problem-based learning and negotiating the curriculum. In PBL, or problem-based learning, students tackle a local problem, or this is problem-based learning or place-based learning. Problem-based programs show that students go far beyond the minimum effort, make connections among different subject areas, answer open-ended questions, retain what they have learned, apply learning to real-life problems, have fewer disciplinary problems, and have lower absenteeism. Being immersed in developing IEC Cebu and in crafting the lesson exemplars for this project, I really come to love it. I foresee how useful these approaches are in concretizing learnings, thus producing Cebuano learners with 21st century skills. IEC Cebu model is an avenue that recreates once more a learning environment where teachers find it easy to prepare the most engaging classroom activities, allowing teachers to select developmentally appropriate teaching and learning content and pedagogy. A thing of beauty because learners are given developmentally appropriate God-based learning opportunities to prepare them to survive in the real world. Multidisciplinary approach is an approach to curriculum integration which focuses primarily on the different disciplines and the diverse perspectives they bring to illustrate a topic, theme, or issue. A multidisciplinary curriculum is one in which the same topic is studied from the viewpoint of more than one discipline. The different approaches to the multidisciplinary perspectives are as follows. Intradisciplinary approach, fusion approach, service learning, learning centers or parallel disciplines, and theme-based units. The God-based IC Cebu model envisions every Cebuano learner to be empowered, demonstrating the 21st century skills. At the end of the 13-year cycle of the Enhanced Basic Education Program, each Cebuano learner 
shall be self-directed, career ready, determined to face the challenges in life, media and information literate, a value-laden individual, locally and globally competent the field support, a lifelong learner, a committed and loyal individual of being a Cebuano. Our teachers in the Division of Cebu Province are already equipped with the basic teaching skills. Our concern now is to help them find the missing link that connects their stock knowledge with the demands of the 21st century, as emphasized in the K-12 basic education program. This can be realized by providing our teachers with guide-based lesson examples that make use of the learner-centered pedagogical teaching learning process called 5 E's, which means engage, explore, explain, elaborate, and evaluate, employing different approaches to integration. This process would allow our learners and teachers to construct new ideas on top of their prior knowledge or experience and relate this to real-life situations in this diverse society. With the determination and commitment of the education program supervisors in the different subject areas and selected master teachers who have been involved in designing the lesson exemplars, we are confident that with this curriculum innovation, God-based ICC group, our vision to empower learners to demonstrate 21st century skills as they learn beyond borders will be realized. Being the teacher demonstrator in English and the first to try ICC Boo model, I feel like there is less work for the teacher since it is pupil-centered. I also believe that being to try it, the pupils get to discover their own learning since it follows constructivist theory. Mas maraming mga gawain ang makabagong paraan ng talakayan. Lahat kami ay may pagkakataong makilahok sa mga gawain. Natutunan kong magsulat ng isang kwento mula sa talatang aming binasa. We learn good values such as being polite to elders and showing respect to the people around us. It's more fun. There were many activities and we enjoyed doing them and presenting them. It saves time and it's more fun because there are subjects incorporated to it such as math and science. In math, we got to find the distance from us from the place to the certain spot and in science we get to find the temperature of the certain spot. In this new process, we actually get to have fun and exercise and not just sit. In the English lesson, I also learned math like looking for, for the land area of the tourist spot. It was really good and I learned a lot and I had so much fun because there were so many group activities. Aside from creating word problems, I also Learn the values of teamwork, cooperation, nationalism, and leadership. I also learned a little history from the past, which was the cry of Balintawag and how the Katipuneros fought for freedom. I find it so amazing to learn all of these things in my math class. The demo class actually makes the class more lively and make it less boring. And we also get to stand up most of the time than just sitting in our chairs all day. We love God-based IC Cebu! Congratulations for conceptualizing IC Cebu. Through integration, curriculum content becomes seamless across learning areas. I hope that through this innovation, it will improve the quality of instruction delivered by our teachers. ICESABU model is an innovation in the existing curriculum inspired by the division's passion to address the needs of the Cebuano learners, especially in times of crisis, considering that Cebu is prone to typhoon and other natural calamities. Moreover, the pressures caused by various factors in a child's life demand that schools should not be mindful only of subject content delivery but also of how students cope with pressures, face frustrations, survive trials, 
and stand resilient in life. This is Isis Sabu model, a wonderful vision made possible through the strong and visionary leadership of Superintendent Dr. Rayamar A. Angton, paired with the bubbling energy, passion, and incomparable determination of ASDS Leia Apao, who is captain of the CID. To all the writers, contributors of ideas, video artists, congratulations. Indeed, this is love, a real love for Cebuano learners in action. God bless us all. Anchored on our slogan, we dare, we conquer, and we lead for Cebuano's brighter tomorrow. DepEd Cebu Province does not stop conceptualizing interventions that trigger the creativity of our educational leaders. Thus, with the nurturing leadership of our school's division superintendent, Dr. Riamar A. Antud, with the all-out support of my co-assistant school's division superintendents, Dr. Esther A. Putalan and Dr. Cartesa M. Perico, an integrated curriculum has been designed, dubbed as IC Cebu. IC Cebu captures the integration approaches and contextualized instructional design along with the core values of the Department of Education and the time-tested God principles and DRR concepts. My grandest salute to our CID personnel headed by the Chief Dr. Barry Ann Flores for making this initiative a reality. Yes, it started with a dream. It is our ardent prayer that this initiative will help us realize our vision that every Cebuana learner will be empowered with the 21st century skills and who at the same time are determined to face challenges in life, career ready, media and information literate, value laden individual, competent in the fields of work, both local and global, interact with commitment and loyalty of being a Cebuano, spiritually transformed, resilient, and gender sensitive. Congratulations, Cebu Province. Together, we dare, we conquer, and we lead for Cebuano's brighter tomorrow. To God be the glory. God bless. I see Cebu is really a solution or an answer to a, to a dream particularly because we've been thinking about innovations that can address uh, what the children learn in school and what they need to learn to cope with the 21st century. And so the ICC book is really something para sa ating mga bata so that they will learn more through innovative way of teaching, particularly life skills, high order thinking skills, valuing, especially because the DRR and the God-based influence of the 21st century is very important. Uh, let me take the opportunity also to congratulate the team, the ICC team, particularly ang atong mga teachers, ang atong mga master teachers, principals, and the team of Dr. Leah Apao, who really thought of an answer kay Kibaw na magtadaan niya, taku ang problema, where the 21st century learning is concerned. Thank you, everybody. Together. 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 We did. We conquered. We believe. For With this innovation in the curriculum, every Cebuano learner is envisioned to be empowered with the 21st century skills and for learning beyond borders to be realized, today is the beginning.
integrated curriculum for Cebuana learners to engage for better understanding.